Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use how to start out downloading torrents. You might have heard of torrents as opposed to programs like LimeWire, Kaza, things like that. I prefer the torrents because you can get much higher quality uh content, programs, music, movies. But today I'm going to show you how to start that. It's very easy, easiest thing to do and a uh, much smaller chance that you get viruses with this so first what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the torrent client my favorite is a uh, U uTorrent which is uh, very small it runs in less than a megabyte and it doesn't take up any of your computers or close to none of your computers resources so you go to uTorrent.com and on the home page you click on download and uh, you, you wait for it to start you download it, you run it, and it'll install it, and then you're going to get a program that'll open up, and it's going to look a little something like this. So this is the basic interface. Okay, now you need the content to download, right? So, I've made a torrent myself. That too is very easy. I could show you in another tutorial. And uh, here I'm going to show you how easy it is. Let's say uh, a site you can go to is thepiratebay.org. I use it a lot. It's uh, very clean. There, there aren't any uh, intrusive ads. It's a very good site. So I've uploaded this torrent and uh, when you do a search it'll come in a list that looks very much like this here. And then you, either you can click on this little green arrows to say download the torrent right now or you can click on the name and it'll show you more information about it the the tags for it, the size how many files are in it the quality when it was uploaded by who and uh, some people will post comments and the comments is good because some people will say if there's a virus or not many of the times there's nothing and they'll say this is a great torrent and uh, it'll say okay you should be fine to download it so then you click on the uh, green button here download this torrent and it downloads it and uh, you want to open it run it just with and go choose uh, uTorrent so it'll come here and I'll show you all the files that you can download if you won't, don't want them all you can select select none and then choose the single files you want or you can select them all and download everything as the user intended and click OK and it starts downloading It should be done in no time at all. Well, depending on the file size and how many peers and seeds are, are uploading t to you. And it, it always depends. The more seeds, the better. Okay, so now you're downloading. And right now it doesn't look like anything's coming towards me, but that's fine. You'll, figure, you'll get some with other people. And something else you could do with uTorrent, which is very useful, is uh, you can have a web interface. So let's say you're at work or at school or anywhere in the world. You can connect to this web page, and uh, if you know your IP, and you can manage your torrents from there. Here, it's very simple. You go to Options, Preferences, then you go down the list to Web UI and you just enable it put a username and password maybe a guest account and you're all set oh by the way the port that you have to connect to it with a port and you go to connection and it'll show you the port that is used by uTorrent and you connect to it with that so let's remember this 15328 okay so you go on the internet, you connect to your IP. Right now I'm connected through my uh, local in local network. So you go, you you enter uh, HTTP colon slash slash the IP. And then you have to put another colon and put the port number. Mine's on a different computer so the port number is different and then you add another slash GUI and you push enter and it will bring you into the user interface 
and from here at the top left you can go add torrent and uh, if you like you can instead of actually downloading the torrent you can right click the download link that we had before and go copy link address or save link or uh, yeah copy link something like that you copy it you go here and you just paste it in and it'll download it easy as that so that's the user interface that's how you download torrents and I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.